In a picturesque Italian town centuries ago, we find ourselves in the tranquil garden of a small business owner, Giovanni. Giovanni, a worried man in his 40s, paces back and forth. A sinister loan shark, Mr. Vittore, approaches Giovanni, wearing a sly grin. He is an old, unattractive man with a peculiar obsession. Mr. Vittore smirking says to Giovanni, Giovanni, my dear friend, I have a proposition for you that can erase your debt entirely. Giovanni eyes him suspiciously. Mr. Vittore continues, But the catch is, I want your daughter's hand in marriage. Giovanni's face contorts with disgust. Giovanni reluctantly agrees, and Mr. Vittore produces a small bag containing two pebbles, one white and one black. He places them in the bag. Mr. Vittore continues explaining, Your daughter must choose a pebble blindly. If it's black, your debt is forgiven, but she must marry me. If it's white, the debt is still forgiven, and she remains free. Mr. Vittore slyly swaps the white pebble for another black one when Giovanni isn't looking. The daughter, Isabella, joins them, and Mr. Vittore presents the bag. Isabella reluctantly says, Very well. Isabella reaches into the bag, but her keen eye catches the deceit. She pulls out two black pebbles. Isabella smiled and played innocent. Oh dear, how clumsy of me. She drops the pebble she drew among the others. Isabella continues. You see, Mr. Vittore, if you look in the bag now, you'll know which one I picked. Mr. Vittore, trapped by his own deception, pretends the pebble she dropped is white. Mr. Vittore, grinning and lying, replies, Ah, what luck. It's a white pebble. Your debt is forgiven, Giovanni. Giovanni and Isabella exchange knowing glances. Moral of the story. Sometimes thinking outside the box can lead to unexpected solutions, helping you escape difficult situations without surrendering to the limited options you initially see. God bless you. If you enjoyed this video, please help us by subscribing to our channel. Leave a comment and click the like button. We appreciate each one of you.